Elementary Science Class 6. Separation of Substances. We use different methods to separate substances based on their properties. That's right. We use methods like filtration, distillation, and evaporation to separate substances. Yes, and sometimes, we separate even useful components if we need to use them separately. For example, we separate cream from milk to make butter. That's a great example. What about separating substances that are much smaller than mango or guava? We use methods like centrifugation, chromatography, and magnetization to separate substances that are much smaller than mango or guava. Wow, I had no idea. What are some examples of substances that can be separated using these methods? We can separate salt from sand, ink from paper, and blood components using these methods. That's fascinating. I never realized the importance of separating substances in our daily life. It's essential to separate substances to ensure their purity and to use them effectively. It's a crucial process in various industries, including medicine, food, and manufacturing. Ham picking and threshing. There are two processes used for separating grain seeds from impurities and stalks, ham picking and threshing. What is ham picking? Ham picking is a method of separating slightly larger sized impurities like pieces of dirt, stone, and husk from wheat, rice, or pulses. It's a convenient method when the quantity of such impurities is not very large. That's interesting. And what about threshing? Threshing is the process used to separate grain from stalks. In this process, the stalks are beaten to free the grain seeds. Sometimes, threshing is done with the help of bullocks, but machines are also used to thresh large quantities of grain. I see. So, these processes are crucial in agriculture. Yes, they are. Without these processes, it would be impossible to separate grain seeds from impurities and stalks, making it difficult to produce high-quality grains for consumption. Winnowing and sieving There are two methods of separating components of a mixture, winnowing and sieving. Winnowing involves separating heavier and lighter components of a mixture by wind or blowing air. Farmers use it to separate lighter husk particles from heavier seeds of grain. That's interesting. How about sieving? Sieving, on the other hand, is used when components of a mixture have different sizes. It allows the fine particles to pass through the holes while the bigger impurities remain on the sieve. So what do we use sieving for? It's commonly used in flour mills to remove impurities like husk and stones from wheat before grinding it. It's also used at construction sites to separate pebbles and stones from sand. Wow, that's amazing. I had no idea how useful winnowing and sieving are in our everyday life. Yes, they are essential methods of separating components of a mixture. They help us remove impurities and obtain pure substances. Sedimentation, decantation, and filtration. Have you ever wondered how we can separate impurities from rice or pulses? Yes, I have. They are usually washed before cooking, and the impurities separate from the rice or pulses. That's right. This process is called sedimentation and decantation. When the heavier component in a mixture settles after water is added to it, the process is called sedimentation. When the water is removed, the process is called decantation. I see. Can you give me another example of sedimentation and decantation? Sure. Oil and water can be separated from their mixture by this process. If a mixture of such liquids is allowed to stand for some time, they form two separate layers. The component that forms the top layer can then be separated by decantation. Interesting. What about filtration? Filtration is the process of separating solid particles from a liquid by passing it through a filter. For example, we use strainers to remove tea leaves from prepared tea. 
Fruit and vegetable juices are also filtered before drinking to separate the seeds and solid particles of pulp. That makes sense. Is filtration essential for safe drinking water? Yes, it is. Sometimes, water supplied through taps may be muddy, and the water collected from ponds or rivers may also be muddy, especially after rains. Filtration is used to remove insoluble impurities like soil from the water to make it safe for drinking.